good morning guys even though it looks like evening here <laughs> it's actually 11 19 in the morning um the weather is just dis disgusting outside it's like spring weather it's rainy last night we had a huge storm like i'm talking huge it like crackled the house there was like it sounded like hail pounding on our windows but it wasn't hail it was just like really strong rain and wind combined white woke up from the storm and ended up coming to our bedroom and cuddling with us for a little bit i slept through the entire thing she slept through white coming in and out of the bed she slept through um the storm itself like it was pretty amazing that she slept as long as she did but um anyway so it's disgusting now it's just it's just you know spring showers bring may flowers but yeah, I have every light in the house turned on, which I'm glad John's not home because he would kill me because he's all about conserving energy and saving money and so am I. But when it comes to spring weather like this, I, I cannot have it dark during the day after it's been so dark during the winter. Like I can't have it. So I need it to be light in the house or I or I'm just like, I want to go crawl in bed. So I have all the lights on. Making my breakfast, which entails this stuff to drink. It's the Great Lakes Gelatin Collagen Hydrolysate. Is that the right word? It's a collagen collagen joint care. I'm going to take two tablespoons in some cold water. It's supposed to be water soluble, but I realized after yesterday, as you can see, there's like chunks floating around in there that don't look very appetizing. I have drank it with the chunks in there. Um, I put it in this blender bottle to try to break up the chunks. I have drank it this way um, and it's gross, but I realized after letting it sit for a little bit, if you let it sit, those will eventually dissolve. So I'm just gonna let that chill right there until I'm ready for it. And then I'm also gonna have some Umka oats. These are so good, oh my gosh. They're called Kickstart. It's the almonds, cranberries, and blueberries, and they're just in, it's, they're gluten-free, and you just put hot water in them. Oh, they're delicious. I'm gonna come over here and get my trusty Breville with my hot water. And then you just fill it up. A little bit past where the oats are. And then you put the lid back on and just let it sit for three minutes to cook. And yeah, they're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. The thing I have going on right now, I don't know if you can see it. Do you see that red dot and how swollen this nostril looks? I have a huge zit that's about to make its appearance. I, from on Sunday, it started feeling really tender here. And like anytime I touch it, it hurt and I, there was nothing there and I couldn't see anything and I was just like, oh no, something's happening. And as you guys know, I didn't know that you could get cold sores on your nose until I was pregnant with Kaya and I had that cold sore breakup, breakout on my nose um, when I delivered her. So I've had another one of those. It wasn't as bad on the inside of my nose. Um, usually it happens like when I'm about to start my period. And so I thought that's what this was, but then it never developed. And then today I saw the beginning of a zit. So it's so painful. And I was going to film today uh, Kaya doing my makeup, but I was like, I don't want her anywhere near my nose. Like, I don't want her touching my nose. They look like when they're done cooking. They're so good. They're just like a healthier version of just like instant oat, Quaker oats. And they have like cranberries and blueberries and cinnamon and they're just really good. So I'm going to eat that. Maybe have a little bit of yogurt and drink my gelatin drink <laughs> which i have to say a big thank you to one of my subscribers i can't completely i can't remember who it was uh they messaged me about um drinking collagen because it helps with your natural collagen production to just you know for your face and skin and stuff but i came across this joint one and i did some research and it's supposed to be really good and for your health of your joints and as you guys know i have sacroiliac joint disorder which comes along with my endometriosis and also endometriosis causes joint issues as well on top of the fact that i'm taking depo provera which is eating away at my calcium buildup which is again not good for your joints gelatin supposed to be really good at keeping your joints healthy and kind of re-establishing them so that is another reason why i'm drinking it so thank you to whoever suggested that I appreciate it so far I have seen a little improvement in my back pain good evening guys so I totally forgot to film anymore yesterday because after we after I talked to you guys my friend Sydney came over with her baby because I hadn't seen her in a long time and her baby is so cute he's really cute he's got the bluest eyes and he's six months old but because he was so premature he's still the size of like a three-month-old and he's so alert oh my goodness he's adorable but 
So she came over, so I didn't really film then, and then I kind of got tired and had laundry, and it was so disgusting out yesterday and so dreary that it just, I was not in the mood afterwards. So today, I basically just played with the kids and did laundry all day. It's a little bit nicer out. It's really windy, but I mean, the sun's out at least, and it's not raining anymore. It's like 5.30, we're on our way to my parents' house to eat dinner. As you can see, I have some pink stuff on my nose. That's because the zit that I spoke about yesterday has appeared. It's exploded on my face and it's painful. And I would like to get back to uh, filming some of the videos that I wanted to film. And in order to do that, I need to get rid of that thing. So um, I'm only going to my parents' house and if we decide to go somewhere else after my parents' house, I'll just rock wash it off. But I have some Mario Badescu um, drying lotion on my nose to try to get rid of that zit. So that is what we are doing. What are we having for dinner, Mom? It's like a, it's like a olive, olive garden. It's Tuscan and kale. Oh, like a Tuscan bean soup. Oh, okay. Mm, it smells good. Good mm. afternoon. What? Apple Pay here. I, my phone. I think they have Apple. No, I don't think they have Apple Pay. We're at Starbucks. We're using up the rest of our gift card from the Easter Bunny that my mom and dad gave us in our Easter baskets. Um, we are just out running errands. I need to stop by Carter's and use up my rewards dollars before they go bad. And I figure I'll just get some summer clothes for the kids because I'm slowly building up their summer wardrobe. And then we're gonna go and do groceries and stuff like that. It is gorgeous out. Like all of the kids have sandals on. I have my own sandals on. Are you wearing sandals? John's wearing his sandals. It's exciting. It's warm and it's sunny. That's the most important thing because it's been 60, raining all week. Zero. Yeah, it's been raining all Six week. Zero. But, um, I mean, why wear a jacket? You don't want to wear it. Well, just in case, because what? like when the sun goes away and it gets windy, it's kind of cool. And I just, yes, whatever. Because he's wearing shorts. Let's just say that. He's wearing shorts. So, anyway, so we're getting, I'm getting an, my first ice drink of the year. <laughs> Ice caramel macchiato, extra caramel, which I want a disclaimer. I know that there is a chance that there's gluten in the caramel dye. I've never, I've always known that, but I just wanted to say that just in case people are following me as a gluten diet, there is probably some gluten in the caramel, but that's my like treat. So I've been doing gluten. all gluten been every doing day all, all the time. <laughs> But no matter what, it has to have gluten. Yeah. I'm an all gluten diet. She's non gluten. I started my estrogen add back therapy yesterday. I'm really excited. I'm feeling fine so far, and it's supposed to help Where's with my bone at? density. It's in my tummy. I have gained a not. total of. <laughs> 15? 11 to 12. Oh, man. 11 to 12 pounds in the last eight months since I've been back on the depot. So I'm hoping the ad bag helps with that because it'll hire, you know, help my estrogen. And I'm also hoping exercise is going to help with that. But I have gained quite a bit of weight. I forgot how delicious these were. So good. John got a hot one. I'm surprised. Why'd you get a hot one? I don't drink it when it's hot. I well, just let it like cool off on its own and then I drink it. Oh, but they're so good cold. I don't like the ice ones. You don't? Yeah. Oh. Some about icing coffee. Uh, I know it's good, but I'm just... so good, so fattening though too. As I'm like, oh, I gained so much weight. Let me drink down the sugar. <laughs> Where you going, Kaya? Where you going? Can you show me your jellies? It's your jelly shoes and your little toesies that we painted, and then your bathing suit. Is that the bathing suit you picked out? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's half. A butt. It's got a butt? And a uh, uh, bathing suit and a dress. Oh, it's got a butt, a bathing suit, and a dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you wanna go look for some summer pajamas? Yes. All right, let's go to the back. It's like 5.13, I'm gonna start dinner soon. This amazing, like, having sun after four o'clock is like, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, um, I was gonna show you guys a few of the things that I found that I really, really like. Oh, I picked up these gluten-free pop rice crisps. Crisps, I can't talk. I, I don't usually like rice cakes, but these looked interesting. So I picked up the apple cinnamon and then also the sour cream and onion. They are really, really good. Like, they're not amazing, like, oh, these are way better than potato chips, but but they're really, really good. And then our newest thing that we've been obsessed with are these goldfish graham s'mores, which if you follow me on Instagram, you already knew that. But everybody on Instagram was like, oh, have you tried the vanilla cupcake? Now we have. So these are for the kids because they really, really like them. 
Um, and then the kids that I nanny, who I heard about these through, really love them. So I thought, well, it might be nice to have a treat that I don't even know what they like at our house. So we got those. Um, and then, of course, we picked up stuff. We're going to do Sundays tonight. So we picked up some toppings, and then we have some um, chocolate syrup in the refrigerator as well. I am snacking on some broccoli salad that I picked up. And then I am going to cut up all of my super ripe bananas to freeze for our smoothies. And then I'm going to start dinner, which I'm going to make shepherd's pie tonight, and then also make one of these jellos. All three kids picked out a jello uh, snack, so I'll make that so that way it's done for tomorrow for tomorrow's snack. We also picked up some bubble stuff for the outside for the patio for our kids and the kids we nanny. <laughs> So that way they can play with that. And then we picked up some Carter stuff, which I will do a haul be separate from this video because this video is probably already long. And I'll link that below um, or it'll just be up. There'll be like the next video or two. I'll show you guys what we got there. So yeah. And I also picked up this birthday card for my sister because her birthday is this month. <laughs> I don't know, I thought those little gerbils or whatever they were were cute. And I'm going to include these in there because she really liked my, uh, She I had these in my purse and she needed a toothpick and I gave her one of these and she really loved them. So, I don't know, I just thought it would be cute to add in the card. Kitties are in the treehouse with the new bubbles. Kaya, come wave hi. You got your bubbles? Oh, your fan. <laughs> So it is Sunday time after dinner. Got all of our fixings. There's Kaya and Ava's Sunday on a Saturday. What do you guys think? Are they good? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Let's go. Kaya's head just like whipped back so fast. Woo! I'm so happy that they're still able to use this thing this year. It is seven o'clock. I am, again, just basking in this glorious sunlight. I'm on my way to the post office to ship out some stuff to my sisters. And then also I have my last Sriracha keychain, which I committed to um, one of my subscribers in Germany. So it'll be interesting to see what the shipping is. John's like, as long as it's not like super expensive, you can ship it to her. So um, I'm gonna see, I'm not quite sure if that automatic thing that Sam showed me last time, since it is after hours, I don't know if that automatic thing ships internationally, but we will cross our fingers and see. to try oh, and ship stuff. I don't know if I can do international shipping here, so we will see. So it turns out I was able to ship my domestic package, but the international one, even though you can do international um, shipping through the automated thing, I didn't bring my own box. Like I just thought, oh, I'll just use one of the boxes there. But if you put it in one of these things, it's only domestic through that thing. So. I will just put the sriracha to go keychain in a smaller box at our house and then I'll come back and ship it on Monday because I have to come back and pick up some work boxes that are arriving for me that day anyway. So I was half successful and I did my first shipment or package out using that machine which is kind of cool. Those things are so neat. Like all you have to do is put in the zip code and then the first letter of the street and then the address just pops up like you don't even have to do anything else. I have some really fun unboxings especially for you Canadians. I have heard your plea <laughs> on every single unboxing video I've been doing recently. Canadians are just like why can't you do one that ships to Canada? Or I wish this box shipped to Canada. It's true. Somehow, all the boxes I've been unboxing, none of them ship to Canada, except for the um, recent Globin box that I did that was full of fair trade stuff that ships internationally. And then I think um, Travel the World ships internationally, but I haven't done one of those unboxings for like two months. Uh, let me know if you want me to start doing those unboxings again because they contacted me asking me if I wanted to, but I just, you know, I want to do stuff relevant to you guys too. But I specifically found some Canadian based and Canadian available uh, boxes, monthly subscription boxes, so that I could say 
these are available to all of my loved ones in Canada. So I heard you and they're coming. So I'll have a bunch of those unboxings this week as, or this month as well. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We have a lot going on in the next month or two. My camera is currently broken right now and I, I it's a long store, but the battery and the way that it functions is completely like just broken. So I have to take my camera in to get it fixed, which is probably gonna take a few weeks. So um, I don't know if I'm going, to, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, how I'm gonna film while it's, you know, at Sony getting fixed, but yeah, so if I disappear for a little bit, I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try to pre-record a bunch of videos so I can have them up while I'm while my camera's being fixed. But if I do disappear, it is only because my camera is being worked on. So hopefully, like I said though, that won't be an issue. I'm just gonna record a bunch in the next week and then ship my camera off to get fixed because I want it back by May because John and I will be going out and visiting Lisa, Gemma, and Bill the first weekend of May, which that is pretty much it. I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.